Show us your hand and talk to us. This is a mission that Matthew Martinez has waited for. Let's back up. Drop the weapon. His entire life. His reactions were genuine. The chance to be a part of a real SWAT team, working with his heroes, just like Sergeant Brian Robinson, a 19-year veteran. Participating in a Make-A-Wish for that young man was by far the best experience I've had on the team. Matthew's journey began bright and early Sunday morning. We've got a very serious situation going on. With a call from the chief himself. We have two hostages that are inside. Uh, two bears have been taken hostages. I need you to gather your team. Make it happen. Within minutes, the team was in action, with Matthew leading the charge. Breach! 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 Tracking down the city's craziest villains. Uh, the mission was to um, make sure it was all about him. And it was. <laughs> Matthew engaged the enemy in covert operations. He tracked down dangerous contraband, like squeaky toys, and brought the world's most dangerous criminals out of hiding and to justice. While it was a lot for a nine-year-old to learn, perhaps the biggest lesson on Sunday came from Matthew, a little boy struggling with a difficult disease. A lot of people think that being on a SWAT team is a brave or, you know, running to the side, sound of gunfire, and is that just dealing with what life throws at you sometimes is enough courage or is courageous within itself. And that perspective has forever changed several lives. We'll always be a part of this family. If they ever need us, and, um, all they have to do is call. Good job. Can we call you to run the robot now?